New at five tonight, there are still a lot of people out there in and around San Antonio tonight who don't have power after recent storms. News 4 San Antonio's Adam King went to find out why. Adam? Well, there's a lot of CPS energy crews that are out right now and they're working on situations that look just like this. Take a look. You can see the tree branches here have grown up and around the power lines and into the power box there. And when storms start, those branches start to sway and sweep. And that's what could be lights out for all of us. We go into what we call storm mode and uh, we're responding to trees that have fallen on our power line so that our guys and girls can get in there and uh, work the lines and get the service back on for customers. The story, the same for CPS crews all over town, working their best to clear the way and provide power in dangerous conditions. So right now we've got about a thousand work orders that we're working, uh, trying to get the trees trimmed. And with more rain on the way, we asked CPS if they're going to budget more money to help prevent future outages. So we've got a pretty solid budget when it comes to this. It's just that it's so much work uh, that it's good. To, it takes us a while to get to it all. Uh, obviously, when there's more funds available, you can hire more people, but we're really working with 35 contractors throughout the city of San Antonio to tackle these situations as quickly as possible. And Mother Nature seems to be the cause of most reasons to blame. Whenever there's a storm that blows through and there's an emergency, all that work stops so that we can respond to the power outages that are caused during, power, during storms. We always have something growing. Monica and her workers with Bear Mowing say the storms have sprouted a second issue. Right now with the weather and these weather conditions, it's just the, the growing season is it's just extreme. Making it all more important to clear out the clutter. As trees can sway, once they touch that power line, potentially could cause a power outage. And if you have a situation at your home where you have some trees that are overgrown by power lines, call CPS Energy at the number on your screen. They'll come out and take care of it for free. But Chris, are worried a little bit here. Are we expecting any storms? Should people be worried those branches are going to start swinging tonight?